Hey everyone! So in today's video we are going to talk about how we treated our son's diaper rash naturally. Here we are, first time parents. We bring our son home from the hospital and like a week in he starts forming a diaper rash. And we're like, oh no! This isn't good, what do we do? So I started putting this calendula salve on that I have, that I made homemade previously um, to help with that because I read that calendula is really good for rashes. Helped a little bit, but things still were kind of getting worse. <laughs> I've got Ben and the baby over here. <laughs> Very chatty little boy. Um, so things started to get worse. I ended up ordering a diaper rash cream. But that took like a good week to come in. So in the meantime, I was trying all these other things. I was trying coconut oil. I was trying uh, homemade wipes with just water. Um, I was told, you know, it's good to keep the area dry. So we were using um, homemade baby powder, so just some arrowroot to keep the area dry. That seemed to help a little bit, but it was hard to keep it dry because as a newborn, they're just constantly going poo and pee, so that was a little bit difficult. Diaper rash cream finally comes in, use that, that seems to help. The things just persisted and were getting worse. And then I also realized that the diaper rash cream has, um, there's a great, <laughs> has an ingredient in it that is not ideal, zinc dioxide, which is a heavy metal in a lot of products like makeup, sunscreen, a lot of diaper rash creams, and it's a heavy metal so didn't want to continue to put that on him, especially because it's near an opening area that would get into his body. So things were getting worse and, you know, he was constantly crying when he was going to the bathroom so we know he had a tummy ache plus the diaper rash was probably affecting when he would go to the bathroom because the rash started forming around the opening of his bottom. And it would it had like these, um, it was like raw, it started to look very raw with like open sores. And I was like, this is really unusual because when I think of a diaper rash, I think of just like rashing on their, their butt cheeks, um, you know, where like the diaper is like touching. But he was getting this you know, painful looking rash right around his opening. So I look into it more and then it turns out there's different types of diaper rashes um, and some are bacterial. And then it just clicked and I was like, you know what, I bet this is strep. Because what we've learned from medical medium is that strep can cause all sorts of health issues. Um, internally and externally it can cause things from acne to stomach issues to UTIs to styes on your eyes um, and to rashes and I was like I just I have a feeling that this is a rash he's starting to get um, you know a lot of stomach issues and I feel like he's like got some strep stuff going on especially because I know that that's something that I've been trying to get rid of from my body because I've struggled with um, my acne, you know, and as a kid I had a lot of ear infections and that strep, so I know that that's something that I've been trying to rid from my body and it's most likely affecting him. Elderberry syrup kits are here. If you enjoy our videos and want to support the channel, these kits are a great way to help support us and support yourselves at the same time. We take one tablespoon a day for daily immune system support and one tablespoon three times a day when we feel a cold or flu coming on. These kits make 16 ounces, so it's enough for your whole family. Pick up your kit today at thatrootlife.com. So we knew we needed to find something to treat this rash as a natural antibiotic. We didn't want to have to go and you know, get antibiotics to give him internally or do an antibiotic cream because antibiotics, while they're good for certain emergency situations, you don't want to overuse them when not necessary. 
because it's a pharmaceutical and your liver is going to collect it and it's going to overburden your liver and for him you know he was starting to deal with stomach issues and this rash and we could tell his body was already dealing with a lot we didn't want to overburden it plus we knew that there was something we could use naturally to treat this so I constantly was praying about all his health issues and just, you know, seeking guidance from God um, and the angels and Jesus. And one day, all of a sudden, it just popped in my head, let's try aloe. And I told Ben, and he's like, oh my gosh, yeah, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> so we got went to the store and got fresh aloe leaves um, and would cut them up daily to apply to his rash. And sure enough, it started to get better. It, it took some time. I'd say it took a good like six weeks for it to completely go away, but it slowly lessened and he was getting some relief, which was exactly what we needed. So this is what I did every single day to treat the rash. I would first, um, I used homemade wipes. So I got these um, like dry bamboo wipes, squirt bottle with water, and I would just, you know, squirt the wipe with the water to wipe it down just in case, you know, the store-bought wipes, which are a good natural wipe, but just in case that those were irritating him in any way. I'd wipe it down and then I would take a, um, a cotton uh, reusable wipe to dry the area down to keep it dry. And then I would take a little chunk of aloe, you know, daily, like I said, I'd have it daily by his uh, diaper changing station, the fresh aloe. I'd take the little chunk and then wipe it around the affected area. And then I'd let it dry a little bit before I'd put the diaper back on. And then I put the diaper back on and I would do that every single diaper change. Um, and then at least once a day, I would do a warm uh, booty soak, I would call it, to where it would just help kind of clean the affected area. I would uh, heat up some warm water and then just stick them in a little bowl. You could do it in a bath too. Stick in a little bowl. It was really relaxing for him. And then it would just help like kind of clean the area um, on a daily basis. And then there were times where I would just kind of let it air out. So uh, when I change his diaper, I might let him hang out, let it air out. Other times I might just keep the diaper off, kind of have like a towel wrapped around him, walk around and just let it air out a bit um, as well. That way it wouldn't always be trapped up in the diaper. Another thing that was really great about the aloe is, you know, once you apply the little gel, it's all like wet and goopy, but then it dries which is great because then it helps keep the area nice and dry and it's not like an ointment um, or an oil where it's going to stay wet until you wipe it away. Um, and we knew it did this because sometimes I'll put the aloe like on my face as like a face mask and what it does is it dries up really hard until you wipe it off. So that was a really great thing for applying it to his rash and keeping it dry. And some other techniques that we did was I would eat the aloe internally because aloe, when you take it internally, it actually helps things much better than if you were to apply it. So if you ever get a sunburn, you should eat some aloe gel from a fresh aloe leaf. Don't eat the aloe gel from the bottle <laughs> that you put on your skin. This is something that you buy at the grocery store. Um, but that can really help the rash if you're nursing your baby um, through your breast milk. <laughs> Hi, baby. Um, and then we started giving him a little tiny drop of zinc and B12 to also help fight the strep. Because um, that's, that's another way you're fighting strep, even if it's like a skin issue internally, you know, helping your immune system is going to be the best way to fight things. He was he was probably like a month old. You know, I don't think we did the zinc and B12 right away, but he's probably like a month old when we did the little drop of the uh, Vimergy zinc and B12. Um, that's, the, that's the supplements we use. So he was probably two months old once 
empty. Ooh. Rash was finally gone. Um, and when that happened, we still continue to give him the zinc and B12, and he still takes it to this day um, to help with his immune system on a daily basis. Okay, you guys, I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know, and below we'll link um, some of the things I talked about in this video so it can help you if you are in the same boat as we were. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.